Moving to Somerville, South Carolina may not be a good idea. Well, howdy, future Somerville dwellers. I'm your personal Somerville concierge, ready to sprinkle some laughs and local wisdom into the mysterious wonders of the charming South Carolina haven known as Somerville. Grab your SPF shirts, folks, because we're about to embark on a comedic roller coaster through Somerville's quirks and perks. Oh. Very nice, how much? Let's kick things off with the weather, shall we? It's like playing weather roulette. One day it's hotter than a jalapeno sauna, and the other, you're searching for your SPF shirt faster than a cat trying to escape a bath. So hot right now. But fear not, brave souls. Somerville's got you covered with community pools and shady spots making the summer heat more bearable than a penguin in an ice cream parlor. Now, if you're escaping the frosty clutches of the north, which I did nine years ago, it's so freaking happy I did. You guys are still dealing with the snow. <laughs> oh, shit. You might be expecting the housing market to hibernate in the winter here. Think again, my friends. It's hotter than a flamingo and a salsa dance-off. People are swooping in like it's hot cake giveaway. And I'm here to be your real estate superhero and let you know, we can still get you into one of these great houses, but we've got to move quick. And a lot of people don't realize it, but the market here is still thriving. Even in the high interest rate market that we have, the, the market is still booming. Houses are still going under contract. All right, now let's tackle the hurricane bugaboo because like most of you, I get phone calls all the time. Ryan, we're so worried about flooding and hurricanes. What can we do? What do we do if we have flooding, Ryan? What's, what, where do we go? I'm so scared right now. Where do you go? You stay in your house. Hurricanes are like the unpredictable party guests. There it is. One happy elephant. They might RSVP, but they don't always bring chaos. So many people think that the moment a storm starts rolling up the coast that we just got blasted and got beat up. And a lot of times being here in Somerville, we're actually protected. We're 93 feet above sea level. We're in far enough from the coast where we're not getting beat up as much as the regular Mount Pleasant folks or Johns Island folks may be getting hit. You know, it's a totally, completely different experience. Now that we've talked about the flooding and the crazy hurricanes, people always ask me, Ryan, what are the bugs like? Are they, is it true that the bugs are just massive there and they're all over the place? Well, they're the true VIPs here. I mean, love bugs, the Romeo and Juliet of the insect world, are a small tax for basking in warm beaches year round. And I know what you're saying. Well. There's gotta be snakes, there's gotta be gators. Gator don't play no sh Is that safe? Are there a lot of gators? No! Listen, a lot of these gators are more afraid of you than them, and a lot of the bugs, a lot of the community spray for them. And you should probably get spraying done too. It helps keep down the pest control. And most of your neighbors are already doing that as well. So if you want those warm beaches, sometimes you gotta trade trade-offs, right? Fret not, my soon-to-be Somerville comrades. Screened-in porches are the superhero capes of the low country. Now, what do you mean by that? Well, if your home doesn't have one, you might wanna think about reaching out to a contractor because most of them are standing by and they're just waiting for their cue. And I'll tell you what, they can install a screen porch with some fans. That is going to be the most comfortable spot for you in the spring, the summer, and the fall. Trust me. We just got a screen porch last year and I was so thankful. I mean, we were here eight years and didn't have a screen porch. It was, it was hell. It's like hell on earth, said one woman. I was actually going to friends' houses who had them and I was jealous. I was like, oh, this is so nice. And then we finally got one put in and now I'm like, never own a house again without a screen porch. Duh. Choosing the right neighborhood is like picking your favorite movie genre. You wouldn't watch a horror flick if you're into romantic comedies, right? Or if you're like my wife and me, I'm the Dateline guy and she's busy watching Hallmark and Lifetime and all those other movie channels. But we, we battle at night as to who's gonna actually have control of the clicker. Will it be Keith Morrison or are we gonna watch one of the many same movies redone with the snow covered town and the girl comes back and meets the handsome rich guy and he falls in love with her, but she still has her job back in the city. And oh my gosh, it is so great to be back in my quaint hometown. It is a welcome break from 
my high-paying New York City job that has left me a little cold and materialistic. Chloe Vander Fleming? You get the whole storyline. They're all the same. Somerville, though, has its own blockbuster neighborhoods, and I'm here to match you with those specific settings for your life's epic adventure. So people always say to me, Ryan, What's the difference between all these different neighborhoods? You know, you've got Carnes Crossroads, you've got Cane Bay, you have Nexton, you have Summers Corner, you've got the Ponds. What's the big difference in all of them? And I simply say to people, it's lifestyle. What kind of lifestyle do you want? Do you want to be in the hustle and bustle? Then you probably should be in like a Nexton, a Carnes Crossroads, or a Cane Bay. Do you want to be kind of away from all of that and just kind of be in a neighborhood where you have just your neighbors and, and you and you're kind of off the beaten path? Then there's neighborhoods like Summer's Corner, the ponds that are really great for that kind of thing. It really comes down to what's going to be the best for your lifestyle. And that's why people reach out to me and my team is because we can, we can literally match you up with those things just by asking a few very important questions. And do you know why nobody else can do this? And I'm going to tell you. Because nobody wants to match you with lifestyle. Everybody wants to try and sell you the house. Oh, this house over here is 6% today. Come on over, let's look at this house. Who cares if they don't have everything you want? That's not how my team and I roll. That's how I do it. We want to make sure we're connecting you with the lifestyle that makes the most sense for your life and your family's life. And if you're considering playing the waiting game to buy your dream home, think again. Interest rates and prices are doing the cha-cha, and if you snooze, guess what? You're going to lose and miss out on the real estate ball because right now, interest rates have been at a steady 5 to 7.5% area, and they're not dipping right as quickly as we want them to, and the federal government was like, well, guess what, guys? We're selling way too many homes too fast. we got to slow this down and we gotta fix the inflation. So we're gonna make people pay for it out of interest rates, high interest rates. And that's exactly what's happening. So if you're wondering why the interest rates haven't come down, well, thank those people up in Washington. We know what they look like, don't we? Oh, behave. Can you say hi to everybody? Hi. You gotta look there. Hi. Say, I'm Amelia. I'm Amelia. And you gotta keep looking there. You gotta say, I'm Amelia. Hi. I'm Amelia McHugh, and I'm going to be a real estate agent with my daddy one day. I'm going to be a real estate agent with my daddy one day. <laughs> and say, this is Madeline. This is Madeline. All right. I'm my sister. Your sister, huh? I'm going to be a real estate agent with, like dad, my dad. Yeah. He's High five, best, girls. He's the best one. Best one. I love it. Thank you. Baby. Yeah, baby. All right, Dave's got to finish this video. They're so cute. All right, amigos, if you're craving the 411 on Somerville or you just might want to chat or hit me up, I'm here 24-7, Somerville Hotline, days, nights, weekends. Even during a cosmic alien invasion, I'm here. I got your back. Don't worry about it. I'll tell you, you know, hey, I'm, I got some people I got to sell houses to. Don't worry about it. 843-226-5535. Because who are you going to call? Ryan McHugh. Sorry. All right, once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. And remember, life in Somerville is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get, but it's bound to be sweet. Catch you on the flip side, Somerville dreamers. See you next time.